Hello and welcome to Your Dinosaurs Are Wrong Was Wrong, which is what we're calling this segment where we're going to cover some corrections, uh, a couple of additions, and a clarification regarding our Velociraptor episode that we put out. Because we do, in fact, sometimes get things wrong, because we are humans. First, a couple things that concern humans rather than dinosaurs. I said that Mongolia declared independence from the USSR. That is not the case. They were never part of the Soviet Union. What happened was their democratic revolution coincided with the collapse and breakup of the Soviet Union. So effectively, it removed them from that orbit. But that's not the same thing as saying that they declared independence, and I shouldn't have said that. The name of that Polish paleontologist is Halszka Osmulska, and I said it wrong, and I will try to say it correctly in the future because we're going to talk about that person more. The caudal rods in the tail of Velociraptor are not ossified tendons. They are part of the vertebrae themselves. Um, functionally, it's doing the same thing, where it's moving where the muscle mass is, but it's important to recognize that, hey, this is actually part of this bone and not an ossification of a different body part. And one correction that is not in the video itself, but is in a GIF that I made to promote the video on Twitter. I had a slider going from unreasonably unfeathered to maximum floof, and I, I labeled the maximum level too much, exclamation point. And some paleo artists rightly, fairly, took umbrage with that. Um, Yashua Kanupa pointed out that if I had simply had the plumage behave the way that a bird's plumage does, even at the maximum fluffiness level, it would still look completely believable and like a real animal. So this is what that would have looked like. In the video, I speculated that there would be dinosaurs who have primary feathers attached to their hand and finger, but not secondary feathers attached to the arm. Uh, this is in fact the case for Caudipteryx, and for one specimen of Incisivasaurus. And I just didn't put that together at the time. And there's a paper that I somehow missed completely when I was researching Velociraptor's tail. 2012's Libby et al. paper where they looked at how Agama lizards hop up onto things. Uh, they took high-speed video of these lizards and they found that if for some reason as it pushes off its feet slip, then its torso starts to tumble forward, and it doesn't want to land head first into whatever it's jumping on, so it jerks its tail upwards, which I can't do on this toy, but as the tail goes upwards, it pulls the body upwards as well. So it's, it's a stabilizing effect, which they think, based on a mathematical model that they made of a velociraptor, because they couldn't make a robot velociraptor for some reason, they actually found that Velociraptor's tail would be even more effective at stabilizing the animal in the air than um, the Agama lizards is. If they were jumping, the tail would help them keep right side up. A lot of people took issue with the pack hunting section. Uh, specifically, they raised some pretty valid criticisms of the Roach and Brinkman paper, or at least cited valid criticisms thereof. The main argument of that paper, though, does hold up, which is just that Finding Deinonychus in association with Tenontosaurus is not evidence of pack hunting, it's circumstantial, it's suggestive. There's actually a paper that came out since the video went up about Deinonychus and pack hunting. This was Fredrickson et al. 2020, where they looked at the carbon isotopes in Deinonychus teeth, and they found that, on average, smaller Deinonychus teeth are more enriched than larger Deinonychus teeth. This would imply that the younger animals were eating different food than the older animals. So if Deinonychus were engaging in wolf-like pack hunting behavior, why weren't they sharing their kills with their young? Now again, this doesn't disprove pack hunting, but it is suggestive. Um, this is also a separate question from the question of were they living in social groups, because in extant animals it's not uncommon for animals to live with one another, but then also hunt individually, especially if they're hunting animals smaller than themselves. The reasoning behind Deinonychus being a pack hunter is that we do find them in association with animals larger than themselves, so there could be selection pressure there to adapt a way to cooperate to take down prey. We don't know what form that would take, and the fact that Jurassic Park's 
extremely sophisticated, uh, uh, even above wolf level of pack hunting is so entrenched in the popular culture, that's what I take umbrage with, not, not the basic idea of cooperation. That is an intriguing proposition. Because that selection pressure might not exist for Velociraptor, like Protoceratops is slightly bigger than the animal, but is it big enough to require Velociraptor to team up to take them down? I don't know. And in living animals, pack hunting or, or cooperative hunting takes a lot of form, so we all just kind of arbitrarily decided that the wolf-like pack hunting, which is like a professional soccer team all communicating with each other and developing their plan to get the ball into the goal uh, uh, in real time, is what they were doing. Whereas maybe they were more like lions or like five-year-olds all chasing the ball around the field and just as a group randomly getting it into the net at some point. All we have is the ball in the net. Extrapolating from there requires additional data. The point is, the level of sophistication that Jurassic Park has drilled into our collective consciousness is not as well supported as we think. And that's all I was trying to communicate. Well, I hope that made some things clearer or addressed some misconceptions I may have inadvertently uh, spread. And with that, I think we can say that Velociraptor is done, which means, if I could pick it up, we can put it on the board. So thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you next time.